Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the two Canon Kodaks, XF AVC versus XF HEVC. Now choosing between AVC and HEVC for cinematic projects, like a short feature or maybe a documentary or maybe an interview, involves balancing image quality, file size, and post-production workflow efficiency. Now both Kodaks are professional grade and designed by Canon for high quality video, but they have some key differences. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about the XF AVC. Now AVC technology is based on older but widely supported H.264, also known as advanced video coding. It's considered more pro friendly and safer bet for smooth workflow. Now most editing systems like DaVinci Code, uh, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro have been optimized for H.264 for many years now. It's less intensive to edit, meaning your computer will less struggle with playback and scrubbing. Now the file size is larger than the HEVC for the same quality. This means you will need more storage space on your camera media, CF Express or maybe an SD card. And also it means you need more space on your computer for backups and post-production. Now the image quality is excellent when shot with 422 10-bit color. It provides rich color and detail that holds up well to color grading. And it's the standard for many broadcast and professional projects. Now the XFH EVC technology is based on newer and more efficient H.265, also known as high efficiency video coding. Now for the workflow, it requires significantly more processing power to decode and play back. Now the new computers have improved a lot, but still it can cause stuttering and slow down your editing, especially if you're using an older machine with a complex timeline. Now, many professionals, they still prefer to create proxies uh, from HEVC footage for editing. Now, the file size is a major advantage. Now, XF HEVC can achieve the same or even better image quality as the XF AVC at roughly half the file size. This is a massive benefit for long shoots, especially for 4K and 8K footage because it saves on media costs and storage. Now the image quality is outstanding. Now its superior compression can result in fewer artifacts in complex scenes like uh, moving water compared to H.264 at the same bit rate. And also it is more efficient for shooting high resolution like 4K or maybe 8K and HDR footage. Now maybe you're thinking which one should I use for cinematic production? Now for short films or maybe feature films where the final quality and post-production flexibility are the top priority and you have a robust post-production workflow, I would really recommend XF AVC. And here's why. Now editing is king, so for features and high-end shorts, it requires a massive amount of editing and revision. And the last thing you need is a choppy stuttering timeline that slows down your creative process. Now the XF AVC's better editing performance straight out of the camera is a huge advantage. Now basically it's a trade-off. Like the XF HEVC can technically offer a slightly better compression efficiency. The quality of the XF AVC 422 10-bit is already excellent and more than sufficient for high-end cinema work. Now the marginal gains in quality with HEVC, they do not outweigh the headaches of a slower post-production workflow, unless the size is the absolute number one concern. Now for professional production, the cost of extra hard drives to accommodate larger AVC files is a very small price to pay for the time saved and improved creative flow during the editing process and the color grading process. You might choose XF HEVC if 1. You have severe storage limitations for a long documentary or maybe a gorilla style film where you can't carry a lot of media. XF HEVC smaller files would be a game changer. 2. You're shooting 8K. Now some cameras may have only HEVC for higher resolution. 3. Your computer is a beast and you do not mind generating proxies. If you have the latest Apple Silicon or maybe uh, a powerful PC with a modern GPU and you are comfortable with the proxy workflow, the file savings of HEVC can be very attractive. Now, the final verdict. For the most reliable, seamless, and widely compatible professional workflow, 
for cinematic project, XFAVC is the safer and often more the practical choice. It's a proven workhorse Kodak that balances excellent image quality with a manageable post-production process. Now, unless you have a very specific technical reason or a demanding storage problem, stick with XFAVC. Spend your energy on telling your story and not on rendering proxies. And of course, that's my opinion. 9 out of 10, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. Both of them are excellent, high-quality Canon Kodaks that are meant for professional feature films, short films, documentaries, and interviews. Let me know in the comments what you think. Which one is better? Which one is better for you? If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.